Hey, it's Rich back with you for another video. I'm, I'm with the uh, C90 GTX. We did a video a while back on a King Air F90 and uh, kind of promised we'd do a, a comparison with the new version C90 GTX. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take it from Reno back to Long Beach and take you along for the ride. Seal Beach. LHS Victor 459 Seal Beach. Yep. LHS Victor 459. Rising there 2218, contact north departure. Over to departure, Rising 2218, good night. Okay. Six seven whiskey's already at uh, two five. November five six seven whiskey window tower wind two seven zero at one five cut two one runway two five clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff two five five six seven whiskey. Lights. They're all up. Fuel vents are up. That's all good. Fuel takeoff speed. They're set. Delta 2542, Reno Tower, traffic departing runway 25 to King Air, wind 270, now 16, gust 21, runway 34 right to clear to land. There we go. All right, Delta 6 7 Whiskey, contact Northern Portugal. 6 7 Whiskey, Roger. Contact New York, Calvin, 8.7. 5 6 7 Whiskey is uh, with you in the right turn to 10,000. We're out of uh, 5,700. Luminata Victor Bravo, clear, direct Linden. Southwest 1207, it's enemy team, 1,500. 
0567 Whiskey North out of Bush, where that contact. Clear direct Lake Hughes. Out of 8,000 direct Lake Hughes, 567 Whiskey. We're climbing out of uh, 23,000 here, going to 25. And I talked, ab I talked about the uh, history of the King Airs in the, in the last video, but a little bit of a review. They, uh, they've been around for a long time, I think 1960s. And I think conventional wisdom is that the King Air has been one of the most successful business aircraft in the history of general aviation um, and it's been in constant production since it was originally uh, introduced and there's you know several variants the 90 uh, had a few different variants C90 uh, F90 E90 um, you know different different additions different things that they did different to the to the airplanes the 200 which is currently in production is the 260. It went to the 300, the 350, and current production is the 360. The latest model airplanes have the, uh, the Proline Fusion. Uh, prior to that, it was Proline 21. But just, I mean, the King Airs, like I said, they've just been such a great uh, all-around utilitarian airplane. The military uses them. Law enforcement uses them. Uh, a lot of observation companies, uh, mapping. You just see them in all different uh, types of uh, operations. Uh, the least of which is a, is the or not is the is the business uh, business aircraft to use companies uh, getting into smaller airports need to take big loads of people or, or you know cargo whatever. It's just been a really really popular airplane. And, and current production is the they just stopped making the this the C90 GTX I think last year. So this is one of the last ones built. Um, and then they've got the 260, King Air 260, and then the 360 are the current production airplanes. And uh, very similar, just, you know, a little bit bigger uh, fuselage and uh, seating on the the 360, and it's a type rating airplane. Um, so it's a little bit of an overview of the of the uh, King Air from, uh, from the last video as well. So this specific King Air again is a C90 GTX 2018 with uh, the Collins Fusion avionics. And the, the 90 series King Air, based on my perspective, is really the first kind of owner-flown, high-performance turbine airplane. And a lot of people bought these airplanes and flew them themselves for business. In fact, the owner of this airplane uh, had a, a, a C90 uh, that he bought for the company and flew it uh, as the owner of the company and, the, and, and flew the airplane around to visit his, his branches. And so uh, sold the airplane and then got back into it and, and uh, bought an M2, but then bought this airplane as well to, to serve some, some missions, uh, you know, uh, carrying employees around different places at different branches out of Reno, so it's you know that that's what this airplane was originally you know uh, aimed at, and they were very popular and they sold a lot of them, and we're you know for what the current owner uses this airplane for is really you know spot on, Reno to like you know the Bay Area, uh, Sacramento, San Jose, uh, Boise, Medford, Salt Lake City. You know, you really can't, you know, a, a jet isn't going to get you there on those legs a, a, a lot faster. So this is a really good uh, airplane for those missions. And, you know, we're at 25,000 feet right now. And we're still accelerating, but we're right about 250 knots. It's plus 18 ISA, so it's really hot. I could push it up a little bit more, but, but you know, we're, we're, uh, we're just going to leave it where it's at as far as our... Uh, our power settings. You probably get you know closer to 260 knots out of it. You push it all the way up. Um, very comfortable, solid. It's hard to find a more solid airplane than a King Air. Really comfortable, roomy. Passengers love them. Pretty quiet. Um, and 
these avionics, you know, although Collins, you know, kind of got overtaken by Garmin, Collins is, is known for, you know, really good avionics. Proline 21 was really the the uh, standard for a long time in business aircraft until Garmin started getting in. And, uh, you know, they're, it's a good system. It's if you If you have Garmin experience, of course, you're going to be a little awkward with this this system, but that's where Garmin really did a, a good job of getting into the entry level airplanes because now most pilots coming up uh, have Garmin experience and might find Proline Fusion or Proline 21 a little bit awkward to use. I don't have a lot of experience with it. It is awkward to use if you have Garmin time, but it, but it's it's really good. It's good stuff and it's a lot of capability and you know you got touch screens and and uh, I don't. I don't really have anything negative to say about the Proline Fusion other than it's just different when you're used to Garmin. As I mentioned earlier, the C-90s are no longer in production. I think that was a recent decision by Textron Aviation. And thinking about why that is, I think there's probably a, a, a number of different reasons. Generally speaking, uh, fewer airplanes are being built. Um, and so it's a, it's a result of the overall fewer number of airplanes you know available from in, from any manufacturer especially the big ones like uh, Cessna and Beechcraft and then you have a lot of competition with the lighter jets uh, Mustangs Phenom 100s M2s uh, Honda jets in this you know not in similar price range but more probably used airplanes than new ones because the you can get used ones for less than the cost of a new one of these um, probably the need uh, for for uh, business owners to go into shorter strips and th those types of strips where the King Air really shined uh, is is less now than it was you know 30 years ago and uh, and then you've got a you know a lot of single engine turboprops Meridians M600 uh, TBMs and uh, Pilatus that are all you know high performance pressurized single engine turboprops that you know uh, have been reliable and, and, and have done really well in the market too. So it's probably a combination of all those reasons why we see, uh, you know, the the shrinking of the the King Air offering. You know, the 90 was probably the one that they were building the fewest of. So that's why they they just stopped building them to keep the 260 and the 360 in production. So we're gonna we're uh, looks like we're you know another uh, hour out from Long Beach. We're gonna. Uh, Take a different route into Long Beach, and this airplane we're not doing an arrival. We're just going to fly to the uh, from Lake Hughes to on a Victor Airway to the Seal Beach VOR, and we'll shoot the ILS in the 3-0 in Long Beach, and we'll uh, we'll pick back up on uh, on the descent. Beach, that wraps up the uh, C90 GTX video. Great airplane, I really like flying it. I don't have a lot of uh, King Air time, but I uh, really, really like the airplane. It's got a lot of great uh, attributes. The, the interior, the cabin is really nice. You know, great avionics, just a really good all-around airplane. And again, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.